Down and out. Your apartment, three o'clock in the morning. It's got four walls, a roof, and isn't on fire. Even the cockroaches have fled in search of better accommodations. Not exactly a runner's, dr runner's dream pad, but right now, it's about all you have left. Right. Running the shadows is all about feast or famine. One day you're Nova Hot, working jobs that allow you to eat at five-star restaurants. The next, well, you're here. This one's a famine for the ages. Slagging fixer hasn't called. The money's run out, and then some. Sinless and free. Free to starve from the cracks of a society run by megacorps who just want your nuyen. Nu nuyen. Something needs to change, and soon. Sinless, uh... An SIN is a system identification number, which is basically your, uh... Like, your official government ID, ID in the UCAS. And I'll tell you what the UCA, UCAS is in a, in a little bit. It's, it's kind of like the equivalent of, like, a social security number, I guess. But it's used for more things. Um, and basically, without, without one, you really can't function in society very well. There, there are people without, uh... P there are people without SIN numbers who are, uh, not really... F who, who live in the country but aren't really full citizens. You know, they can't vote, they don't really have many legal rights. Right. Okay. New Yen is the... refers to the... New Yen, as in, you know, Japanese currency. Which is the... it's the, it's the uh, currency of the world of, of, of Japan in 2050. And it's the, um, basically the... New Yen is the... in 2050s is the world's main reserve currency. Sort, sort of, you know, kind of like the dollar is now. And so it's accepted, you know, widely, you know, not just in Japan. Right. And it's, and it's you know, popular among shadow runners because, you know, they may, you know, they may be going all over the world. Although the, uh, fun fact, the New Yen, it's not actually controlled, it's not actually controlled by Japan anymore. It's controlled by the uh, Zurich Orbital Gemeinschaft Bank, which is the world's financial institution, which is actually based in a space station. We'll get into that. I'll tell you that little bit, bit about that more some other time, perhaps. It's funny, New Yen is how a lot of people try and pronounce my last name. Oh, yeah! That's true. Alright, here's my... Okay, here, welcome to Shadowrun Returns. Here, here's me. Devilishly handsome fellow. You can zoom in and out. You can't rotate, unfortunately, I don't think. Hmm. You know, it's, it's not a really serious problem. Um, and then here, see this? This brings up your current objective. Get a job. Any job. This shows your objective. Mission items, which I don't have any. Stats. You can go there, spend karma. Once you once you have other people in your team, these arrows can let you shift between them. Let's see. Um, equipment. What do I... I currently have the Fischetti Security 500 pistol and the Beretta Model 70 submachine gun. And outfit, just secure clothing, armor one. And then I have frag grenade, concussion grenade, med kit, dock wagon, basic trauma kit. Um, so I guess you're not looking for like a receptionist job. Probably not. Well, it depends on where you're re where, I suppose. A dock wagon kit. It's basically uh, the equivalent of. Uh, it basically brings you brings back guys who are you know like at zero hit points. Oh. Dock wagon and shadow run. It's this. Uh, it's this. It's this service you can hire where. Like, if you are gravely injured, they will send basically this heavily armed ambulance team to extract you to safety. <laughs> Popular among Shadowrunners, for obvious reasons. Cyberware. Now, since I started with uh, decking skills, I have a, uh, I have a data jack. Requirement for riggers and deckers, and those that want to use a smartlink weapon. Smartlink weapon is basically it just, it, the weapon plugs into the jet data jack so it can send, like, combat information directly to your brain. Now notice that essence costs 0 0.5. I'll explain that later. And then this is just, you know, your save and options and whatever. Also, there is, uh, I'm not going to go through anything, but there is a, a, a nice, uh, nice large tutorial section. Wow. Good lord. It, there's quite a bit, so... This will tell you pretty much what you need to know to, uh... And it also has, like, a, some glossary of some of the terminology you'll encounter. All right, now. Now when you press Alt, it will automatically bring up every, you know, interactable objects. See what's... Hmm, let's see like, what this. uh, Diablo. Oh, does Diablo do that? Yeah. Okay, now let's see what this. A slip of paper with your bank about... with your bank balance. Enough to cover you through the end of the week. Oh, there's stuff dripping off the wall over the... off that... something in the wall. Is that an air conditioner or something? All right, let's see. Maybe it's a humidifier. Computer. 
Your computer, state of the art in 2050. Broken since 2051. Let's see what's over on the table. I can see what you mean by the anti-aliasing thing. Why? Uh, because I don't know. It looks like the background, well, the level could just be like a singly generated item. I'm not sure. Oh, the back. Well, the no, yeah, the background. The backgrounds are like I think uh, are like pre-rendered. They're like hand drawn. I think. Right. Yeah, they're real pretty. All right, your notebook, calendar, contacts, that kind of thing. View your list of contacts. The list is sad, dried up. Carter, Detroit, fixer. No response to message. Dowd, runner, dead. Felton Nash, fixer, missing since February. New Larry, runner, dead. Sam Watts, runner, question marks, probably in a gutter somewhere. Sangoma, runner, dead. Half Jack, dealer, retired or dead. List goes on, all either dead ends or just plain dead. View your personal calendar. It's empty, nothing to do. Well, that's a bit, this place is a bit dreary. Yeah. Oh, your, vi your vid phone rings, jarring you. Who's calling at 3 a.m.? Well, so it's good. It appears to be a bunch of like, like a broken dryer or something. Get a, get a, here's my very, very squalid looking bathroom. Wonderful. Nice, nice little kitchenette. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, tables, lockers. Got some sort of dragon poster on the wall. Okay. okay, and now, okay, when something is yellow like that, that means it's like, like quest related. Like it's gonna take you to, you know, like the next phase of, of like the quest or the area or whatever. Okay. Sam Watts. Remember him in our uh, notebook? Yes. Probably in a gutter somewhere. The screen leaps to life, making you squint against its brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. Sam Watts. Hey, buddy, hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. He giggles. He's drunk again, or worse. Now, here we have three. We, now, here we have all these uh, dialogue choices. Now, a lot of the dialogue choices in this game, they don't really have any practical effect. Like, they just get different. But it's like, it's just sort of, it's, a lot of it's just sort of a way for you to, you know, you know, it's like a role playing thing. You can decide what kind of stuff your character would say. Which is kind of fun, because it's more interesting than just saying, you know, yes or no or whatever. Right. Whatever. So, you so hear your choices are. Shouldn't have given you my comm code, Gonk. Or, you're zoned? Or, where have you been, Sam? I haven't heard from you in months. So, you know, like, you can be pissed off at him, you can be concerned, or whatever. What kind of guy should I be? Uh, let's be a dick. Shouldn't have given... I, won't be, I don't want to be super dick. You're zoned. Another giggle. Oh, don't bother with your side of the conversation. I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid. Somebody finally geeked me. I'm dead. I probably had it coming. <laughs> well, remember this is called oh, wow. Remember this is called Dead Man's Switch. Right, yeah. <laughs> when you're an un when, when you're an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who often partake in unsavory business, like you, for example. So, why am I dead? Who knows? Probably my fault. I wonder where you are right now. I bet you hit a big payday and you're living high on the hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners and some of us are me. Hey, remember that run Reku run when things went to hell and we lost Dowd? Or that makeshift saloon on the docks afterward? I really had your back that night, didn't I? Dowd. That's a name you haven't heard in a long time. Okay, now we're going to flashback sequence. Run Reku, by the way, is one of the world's biggest uh, mega corporations. Uh, based out of Japan, they mostly deal in electronics, computer systems, and such like. They also run the Renreku Arcology in Seattle, which is this huge, like, building that's like a city unto itself, one of the largest structures on Earth. Okay, now here we are in this flashback. There's Sangoma, New Larry. Remember, remember what it said about New Larry in the notebook? Uh, dead? Dead. Sangoma. Sangoma is an urban shaman who proved her worth during a run against Fuchi last fall. She's the quiet type, an experienced runner. We're out in the open, Flandry. And you can hear our choices here, like, I'm not going to read every choice every time, but just, ready to bolt, our fixer owes us for the run, and for Dowd, we wait, or, late for another appointment, Sangoma. Say, our fixer owes us for the run. Your call. And just talk to new Larry. New Larry. You've been running with new Larry for about six months now. He's a combat mage with a bad tattoo and a bad attitude. He knew Dowd almost as well as you did. Dowd. 
Never saw anybody die like that before, idiot. He shakes his head. I hate this fragging city, Flandry. It's wet and the rain feels like acid and I want out of here. Fr frag is like a, is a common, like, basically curse word, 2005, curse word in 2050s. It's, ba it's, it's, it's basically used in the same context you'd use fuck now, more or less. We wait for the money. Yeah, sure, of course. I'll wait all night if I have to. I don't know, Flandry. Sam is a good guy and can hold his own in a fight, but he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on a run, so far, but he needs watching. He shakes his head. That run went sideways nine ways to Sunday. Now the fixer is late. Smell funny to you? Hell yeah, it smells funny. Look at where he set the meeting. This was supposed to be a public place. Yeah, where are we? Looks like a little, like, like, little, like, market or something? He said a makeshift saloon or bar or something. Okay, well, okay, I guess that kind of makes sense. This is actually more common than you'd think in, uh, parts of Asia. Really? Okay. This is supposed to be a public place. Cut the direct, Sam. We both know why Dowd went down, and it wasn't the fixer or some other paranoid chip dream of yours. Chips will come up again later. I've been waiting for this all night. New Larry is a fish. Something you want to say, don't you, Larry? Go ahead, spill it. You are sloppy. Sam, he laugh, Sam laughs. Sloppy? You think I was sloppy? You've been twitchy all day, son. Look at your hands, they're shaking. You've been drinking, Sam? On a run? No, not a drop. Not today, not ever. So, a run, I assume, would be like a mission. Yeah, 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 shadow runners, they go on runs. Yeah. Well, oh, well, no, no alcoholic would ever lie about whether he'd been drinking. I'm sure we can trust Sam. Oh, definitely. Something dawns on him. He leans into New Larry, amused and dangerous. We were set up, and he knows it, don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before we hit Renreku? How come you couldn't geek that guy before he unloaded on Dowd? I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. You should have been burnt toast before his gun cleared the holster. New Larry. New Larry checks his watch, licks his lips, looks over your shoulder at the darkness. He's looking for someone, and it's not the fixer. Okay, I can see where this is going. You chummers are damaged. I'm out. Hands where I can see them, asshole. <laughs> I'm being, like, dickishly businesslike is what I'm going for so far. Of course, that's what I tried to do in our Let's Play Dishonored, and I became a complete monster, so who knows. He stops and a smile slowly appears on his face. What, you want to take my gun away, Flandry? You know I don't need one. We've got incoming! Sangoma finally gets a word in. New relax re relaxes and throws you a direct eating grin. Looks like my new Renreku friends are finally here. I'm going to take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. We should choose our friends more carefully, Flandry. That guy was never my friend. Mine either. I think I'll shoot him. Excellent idea. And now, okay, our first battle begins. And he's standing right there. Oh, it, it's turn-based. Right, now, he's fleeing. And there's... Now, that the, the, the guy said something like, like, kill them, leave the mage, or something like that. Well, they're not doing a good job of leaving the mage. Alright. Turn-based combat. Alright. Okay, now, alright. Now, we currently, we each have two action points. An action point can be used to move, or to attack, or to use an item, or to perform certain other abilities. Although some, some special skills take more than one action point. A lot like, uh... Again, sort of XCOM-like. Now yeah. this shows the range I can move with a single action point. If I want to use both my action points to move, I can move as far as here. Right? Here's, here's new Larry. That percentage over his head is, you know, my chance of hitting him with my current weapon and selected weapon and ability. Um... Now, notice the little shield icons. That indicates cover. Empty shield is like mi minor cover. Full shield is like full cover. And there, I don't seem to find, be able to find your own, but there's like a half shield. Yeah, half shield is like, you know, moderate cover, basically. Right. And, you know, cover obviously, it covers you as the name suggests. So we've got, okay, we've got, and we, we can move our guys in any order. And we can have one guy do something with one action point, switch to someone else, and then switch to some back again. All right, now, like, here, okay, here's our guy. Here's our currently, we can switch weapons with his arrow. Pistol, bare hands. We can use special abilities with this thing here. Like here, we can use that to uh, mark, uh, use our hacker ability, use our decker ability. This is items. 
throwing a grenade takes two point action points, by the way. Huh. And here you, we can select from different uh, firing like op options for your weapon. And you unlock as you gain more skill with that weapon, you unlock more of them. Like sub submachine gun baseline is burst fire, two attacks in one action, low accuracy, low critical damage, uses six bullets, or spray and pray, two attacks with less chance for a critical, may hit adjacent characters, uses six bullets. So spray and pray, it's like a potential like sort of area attack. All right, now I'm gonna move this guy to. Uh... So can you attack twice in one turn? Yes. Although that will use both your actions. Later, you do eventually get a third action point. But it's quite a ways into the game. Okay, this gives full cover. I'm just gonna move here. Now let's see. Let's see what, uh... Let's see what... Let's see what drink Mr. Drinky's got here. Oh, and also that little... You can click on the weapon itself and it'll ask you if you want to reload. Okay, he's also got a submachine gun. And his mighty fists of rage. And... Oh, he's got a shotgun! Shotguns are like short range, small ammo capacity, high damage, and if you hit them, if you fire at a target far enough away, you get like a, you can potentially hit more than one guy. Okay, now he has a special ability, kneecap. Reduces HP damage by six, but takes away one of their action points for a while. Okay. Can hit adjacent targets, a range of six or greater, reduced accuracy. Let's see, try kneecapping some. Oh, we have a, we have a 94% of kneecapping new Larry. Which will, which will impede his ability to attack us. So let's, let's kneecap. All right, critical hit. Critical hit doing 1.5 damage, 1.5 times normal damage. And it also did two action points of worth. Now see, it shows his stats. And also that shows you critical chance. Wounded, yeah. nine, minus two AP. Which I believe makes, he means he will not be able to act next turn. Yeah, sounds uh, pretty accurate. And, um, okay, let's see what... Let's see what Sengoma has. She was hurting that... Okay, she's got a rifle. Okay, and she's got a point, she's got aimed shot. Single one target, increases accuracy by 15%, three turn cooldown. So that, that's a very handy thing. And she's got... And now, let's see, she's got, um... You right over there? Yeah, my chair is active. Okay, now she's got... This. You know, these are her ability summoning abilities. Haste. Increases the friendly target's HP. Haste 1. Increases the friendly target's AP by 1 for 2 rounds. But at the higher level, hastes are really good because you can, like... Uh, they're, I mean, they give better benefits than that, but haste costs 2 uh, AP points to cast, so I'm not going to use that right now. And Bear Totem. The power of Bear hears all friends within within 3 of the... 3 of the, uh... From the, within, uh, 3 of the damage from the most recent attack. Yeah, like I said, shamans, they have, like, totems and different... You can pick which one, they give different abilities. Now, okay, you notice? You know those green... See those green sparklies? Mm -hmm. You notice that skull icon there? Yes. Now, she's a shaman. I can summon a spirit. Which I shall now do. She, most of the spirits you come... You summon in this game are pretty unwholesome, and they tend to come from places of, like, pollution, basically. <laughs> it's... Okay, I'm gonna summon a spirit. All right, Typhoon. Okay, now see down here, this is, you can press uh, this to dismiss him. Or as you can see, you know, I can move him around. Or I can use one of his abilities. And his abilities are Mana Bolt, powerful magical bolt that ignores normal armor and it targets willpower. And Big Wave, target gains two dodge, lasts three turns. Or I can just attack. Okay, yeah, no, see, he has lost all his AP because notice those Zs over his head. Yeah. He's essentially immobile for the next turn. Actually, I'm gonna do- I'm- what I'm gonna- how many hit points does this thing have? I have it move over here a little. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she can see. No, notice she has better accuracy than me for these guys over there. Pro partly because, I mean, the rifle is like a better long-range weapon. Have okay, Renreku security. So she's gonna... I'm gonna save my aim shot for... Alright, now see that weak 0.5 damage? 
-hmm. In addition to game, in addition to critical hits, as most RPGs have, this game also has you know weak hits, which are basically the opposite. They do half damage. Oh. And your body attribute is one of the things that makes it gives you a better. The higher your body attribute, the more likely they are to get a weak hit. Do they have critical miss? Um, no. There's just like I said, you can hit and like get like the the weak hit, but you you can't. There's no. There's nothing worse than just missing. If that's what you mean. All right. Now these guys. He has a low hit chance for these guys, but at that range he might he has a he might have a chance of hitting both of them. So let's try it. All right, yeah, see, I hit one of them. Nice. Weak hit, but still. Okay. All right. New Larry. Much as it would satisfy me to kill New Larry after what he did. <laughs> well, I will kill New Larry, just he can wait. 